hello virgos welcome back to my channel my name is ashley i'm going to do a quick what's in your energy spread for you all this is going to be for virgos sun moon rising and venus signs and any other major placements in which you may have virgo in your chart very very important to remember this will not resonate with all virgos out there take what resonates and leave what doesn't if it is not your story it is simply not your story very very important to remember not to force it if it's not take what resonates leave what doesn't for who it was meant to reach I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe, staying healthy, my lovelies. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, okay. Oh, Virgos, let's see what's going on. This isn't going to be um, like a long one like usual. I'm going to try and skim through this because I want to do an all signs reality th later. Let's go ahead and get started, loves. Virgos, this is your energy, this is your surrounding, and this is the mutual. <clears throat> Under the deck, you have the four of swords in reverse. So I'm sensing some of y'all are going through a hard or difficult time, um, and you're going to be coming out of that very soon. Some of y'all are feeling really, really gloomy, um, or really kind of like down, you know, or some of you are coming out of that energy. Let's start here in your energy, Virgo. <clears throat> if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Also, my lovelies, I wanted to tell y'all that um, you guys enjoyed it so much. I did bring back the $25 energy spread special for you all. Very, very similar to what I do on the channel. It's exactly this spread, which is why I'm showcasing it in this way. Um, if you want to purchase, you can purchase through my Etsy or you can book me through my email. So let's go ahead and get started, loves. Be sure to take advantage of that. I'm only offering this um, until Valentine's Day. I'm also offering a compatibility chart um, for you and your Valentine or your person or your lover or whoever it may be, okay? So a, a compatibility chart analysis. Also, um, I think that's it. Let's get started, babes. In your energy, Virgo, you have Six of Swords, Page of Wands, the Fool, and Queen of Wands in reverse. You're moving out of a difficult... Didn't I say you're moving out of a difficult time, Virgos, with that Six of Swords here? You're definitely moving out of a storm, you're passing through the storm, literally, okay? Some of y'all are very guarded. Um, like, you're very protected by your angels. It's a difficult time. It's like, look at that. Look at that. Look at her hair. Doesn't it look like a whirlwind? Things seem like out of control, or it seems th things seem like they're spiraling out of control, possibly. But it's like your angels are very protected, um, like, you, you're prote like your angels are, are very protective over you, Virgo. You're mad at someone or something or or situations around you or things that you're going through right now, Virgo. With that page of wands here, you want to break free. <laughs> oh, I just heard I, I miss how things used to be. Some of y'all really are missing living life, really missing your life before the pandemic, really missing... Um, Maybe just things you used to do. Maybe things are so hectic right now. You haven't had a chance to take care of you, Virgo. With that page of wands here, this is that feeling free, that free spirit, that childlike energy, innocence, right? This is also new adventures, um, kind of getting up on a whim, right? With the fool here in reverse, this tells me like you want to get out and play pretty much, right? You want to kind of get back to normal, get back to living, I, some of y'all have been doing shadow work and you've been doing a great job with it. Some of y'all are ready to start new endeavors. Some of you are ready to start, ooh, a new brand. I just heard a new business or a new brand or something. Um, some of y'all are getting ready to take some risky um, leaps of faith towards a career or towards something that's going to bring you wealth and stability. And I think that you're just so anxious to do so. You're coming out of an, uh, an energy where... where you're over it <laughs> pretty much Rico, right where you're over it with the queen of wands in reverse here i think some of y'all had a look a mini breakdown or like your mind isn't in the right place like like your mind is wandering right i'm getting that strongly like sometimes your mind wanders um be sure to ground yourself and be sure to stay grounded, Virgos. Now, let me tell y'all, something's going on with Mars. I can't quite recall. 
Did y'all hear my doorbell just ring? Um, ooh, I got the chills, Virgo. Some of you, the page of wands also means good news. The page of wands also means a messenger, and my doorbell just rang. Some of y'all are going to get like an unexpected proposal or announcements or something like that, or something that you've been wanting or expecting. Um, I don't know. I don't. Something that you've been manifesting is like coming in. That's what I'm getting. There's something very strange. Um, with the Queen of Wands in reverse, it could be a person. So just be careful. Um, if not, this is something. I'm getting strongly like this is something like that's going to make you like lose it you know what I mean? they're, they're telling you like be careful on spontaneity because if you go towards these endeavors without kind of thinking it through right they're telling you remember a leap of faith is a great leap of faith however be sure you kind of take care of everything you know feel out all the kinks the trial and errors and make sure that everything is okay um because the Queen of Wands in reverse can sometimes be very scornful and also be kind of reckless at to some degree. Um, so there is new endeavors coming. However, um, just be careful to jump into it too quickly without thinking, right? You're coming out of a, a period where you, <laughs> you're moving into calmer waters. But just be careful to read the fine print. That's what they're saying. Be careful to read the fine print. And we are in Mercury retrograde still. So that's pretty much what Mercury retrograde is about. Reading the fine print. Reread, revise, redo, you know, reanalyze, things like that. Um, but for some of you, be careful it is a person. <clears throat> um, a person that has two sides to them. Over here in your surrounding energy, Virgo, you have the King of Swords in reverse, the King of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Four of Wands. This is strange. You have three people in your energy, Virgo. It's almost as if, like... <laughs> You, it's not three people, it's two. Notice how the King of Swords in Reverse is on top of the Knight of Swords in Reverse. You have the King of Cups and you have the Four of Wands. Virgos, you have... Over here in your energy, Virgo, you're focused on your stability. You're focused on new endeavors, you new, new creative avenues, outlooks, incomes, things like that. But in your surrounding energy, there's a love triangle coming. Ooh, I got the chills. <laughs> There's a love triangle. Ooh, I got the chills so bad. There's a love triangle coming, Virgos, with the King of Swords in reverse and the King of Cups. This tells me there's one who's very untrustworthy and there's one who's very loving and caring. King of Swords in reverse is also someone very manipulative, could be very dishonest, very disloyal, things like that. But with the King of Cups here, this is someone who's very how can I prove my love? How can I show my love? But look at, there's somebody over here looking over the shoulder, trying to like kind of see what this, this person is trying to see what this person is up to or doing, trying to kind of steal their words, steal their game plan, steal their, their plays, things like that. This is someone who is also very aggressive, very angry. And the King of Cups is very, caring, very kind, very selfless. I'm getting that so strongly. Oh my goodness, I have the chills. Underneath that, you have the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Four of Wands. You're going to come together with a lover very soon, Virgo. Um, but y'all are the some you some of y'all are definitely going to be in a love triangle very soon with that knight of swords in reverse this is you this is going to be you virgo your energy um you're going to feel lost maybe kind of torn on what to do with the knight of swords in reverse um the knight of swords is someone who maybe withholds communication withholds clarity 
and I think this is going to be you, right? There's, whether you're the dominant, I mean, I'm sorry, whether you're the masculine or the feminine energy, um, I think you're both very, yeah, I think you're, <laughs> whether you're a male or a female or however you identify, you're going to be in a triangle, right? It's like if you're resonating more with the masculine, it's almost as if like, oh, you know, I'm going to hide how I feel, but I'm still going to entertain it. However, if you are resonating more with the feminine, it's like, yeah, I'm all for it, but I'm not going to say where I'm going or who I'm going with, you know, things like that. You're going to feel very lost in terms of clarity, or you're going to make these two people feel very lost in terms of clarity. But nonetheless, you are going to come together and have a good time um, with the four of wands. Okay, this is someone you're possibly thinking about long term. And for the most of you, I think that this is just like Cupid sending you some options. You know what I mean? Like, um, I definitely feel like one is very, one is more malicious than the other, I will say. You look at how this, look at the King of Swords fell over here, the King of Cups fell over here. If you look at this, right, we all know Jafar has ulterior motives from Aladdin, right? But on this side, it has his staff, his evil staff connected with this malicious energy. And this one seems like bright, right? With more so with the heart chakra, um, with the king of cups. I definitely feel like you're kind of going to play the field with these two options, Virgo, um, or at least entertain them or see what they bring to the table, but I definitely feel like you're going to have two options in the palm of your hand, both in the palm of your hand. Um, ooh, there's something about a theater. There's something about a play or Broadway or a red curtain call or a theater. I think you're going to meet this person in a very public place. Someone is very established here, okay? Very, very established. The other person's going to be angry. Um, this person's going to be angry, and this person's very established, and they have, like, something about you is going to catch their eye, Virgo. Um, over here in the mutual energy, you have the four of coins in reverse and the nine of cups. I'm getting strongly, like, some of y'all... <sighs> have released something. There's going to be a releasing if you haven't done so. With that four of coins in reverse, there will be something like out of your grasp that you're going to let out of your energy. Ooh, I just heard something very strange. I just heard like someone say bend over. Almost like you're going to kick someone out, like, sh like kick them straight in the behind and throw them out or kick them out. Whatever it is, you're kicking... <sighs> I don't know what I'm getting. The energy is so mixed right now, Virgos. Also, um, Mercury retrograde is really messing with me. I, I feel foggy. So, um, I definitely feel like you're releasing something. But whatever you're releasing here, Virgo, it's the Nine of Cups underneath that. You're releasing it for the betterment of your home, right? To better yourself, to better your spirit, to better your home. The Nine of Cups is the happy home card. And it's almost like she has a wrath, right? Like, oh, you know, I'm getting rid of everything that doesn't suit me, doesn't, you know, I almost said fill me or feed me. <laughs> I don't know what that means. So I don't know. You're just getting rid of things that you don't want that you don't like. And it doesn't have to be something physical. This could be energy, emotions, feelings, right? Cups are feelings. Some of you are just kind of, I don't know. I don't know, Ruggles. It's like you're going to start a new business or a new endeavor or new creative projects. Over here, there's two people coming back or already in there, but you're going to be in a love triangle. But over here, you're releasing negative emotions and negative things it's like you're doing so much shadow work here virgo that's why i'm kind of foggy it's one thing after the other and that's how i think that you've been feeling lately right if it's not your spiritual health or your mental health or your physical health it's things coming back things being foggy and that's how i think that your energy is right i, I feel very very like scattered today and i'm getting that's how a lot of your energies are mercury retrograde really is getting a hold of Virgos. Mercury is ruled by um, Virgo, or Virgo is ruled by Mercury. I'm sorry. 
and you y'all are Virgos you guys have Virgos somewhere in your chart right and some of y'all are being really affected um that's what I'm getting it's gonna be over soon loves the four of swords in reverse right this is coming out of fogginess coming out of overthinking coming out of isolation some of y'all are really heavy like some of you are like really getting the urge to cut your hair or do something get a new tattoo or piercings or something um i would advise to hold off okay because the energy when the energy passes you may not want it anymore so i definitely see someone trying to chop off their hair so just you know if you can wait just wait until mercury and venus retrograde are over they're almost over and that's what this card's about underneath the deck we don't see coming we don't expect the four swords in reverse you're releasing that you're coming out of that energy you're no longer going to feel like you need to isolate like you overthink like you're like you can't sleep or all you want to do is sleep right that's what i have for you virgos um they're telling me to get a soul confession i don't know why if this message is resonating let me know in the comments below if you haven't already check out uh, my podcast my merch is below i put the merch on sale list my cards everything is below okay if you want to purchase that 25 dollars energy spread similar to this this is exactly what it consists of and i have done so many for y'all and y'all are just I, I i love your energy um so just let me know if you're interested in that give me a soul confession for virgo <laughs> to be honest i don't know what i want that's what it is, Rigo. Like, I think that you have so many projects going on. You have so many ideas going on that you have so much, like, um, potential and, and gifts and talent that you don't know where to start. Therefore, you don't know what you want to do. Um, like I said, you have so much going on. This is about, you know, yourself. This is about love. This is about your spiritual work, your shadow work. You have so much going on. Let me see. Give me some. Oh, Virgo, we have this is so toxic over here in the love department, right? With these people coming back in the mutual. I wish I could feel you right now. Oh my gosh, that is nuts, Virgo. These are confessions from your soul. And remember I said you're releasing emotions. You're releasing the bad to bring in the good. I wish I could feel you right now. Some of you, it's almost like, not all of you, but some of you, it's almost like if you're you're feeling for the first time, you're letting out tears, you're letting out emotion, you're letting out grief, you know, things like that. I, you have to feel it to release it. And that's, I wish I could feel you right now. You know, those deep, those deep, that deep bottomless pit with those, um, dark dark feelings they're coming to the surface virgo they're coming to the surface and you're casting them away you are releasing them that is what this is you got a lot going on virgos so very much going on underneath the deck oh my upbringing is affecting things between us loves this could be a person the people coming back this could be um the way you handle your your career or your money or your endeavors but this could be childhood trauma that you are coming to the surface and releasing. Remember, Mercury retrograde brings back old trauma triggers and things like that. I have too many skeletons in my closet. My lovelies, some of y'all are definitely getting some like uh, deep things happening. Let's see. Give me some angel messages for my lovely Virgos. Let's see what's going on. Give me an angel message. Harmony and resolution. Yes, I think that some of y'all are going to feel very much so um, at peace once this is completely over, right? Mercury retrograde is really taking a toll on a lot of you all for the majority. Ooh, Virgo underneath the deck, self-acceptance. That's what I love to see. I love it. Didn't I say some of y'all are coming back into yourself and, and doing shadow work? I love it, Virgos. That is what I have. <laughs> we have holy love. Holy love, you didn't I say your angels are protecting you? You're very protected. It's almost like you're covered in protection. That is what I love to see, my lovely Virgos. I'm sorry that this is completely, if I'm feeling like a little scatterbrained today. <laughs> but that is what I have for you, my loves. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. I am sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you all so very much, and I will talk to you soon.